Good afternoon. Sorry for the de delay. This is a much easier topic now. Uh, my name is Chan Liao Mingyi from Taiwan. I'm also the founder of the Taiwan Patient Safety Cultural Club. Uh, it's not, not a fun club of the, the real culture club. Like, like uh, you know, Boy George back in the 80s. <laughs> Instead, we are um, patient safety enthusiasts. And we are the most, not, non, I mean, most active. And then it's also a non-profit uh, patient safety advocacy group in my country. It is my honor to represent Taiwan Patient Safety Cultural Club to announce our committee here today. Actually, I just want to tell you the story. It, it happened last year, and uh, Ariana wanted me to share the, our story of a, a, a little success. I'm an anesthesiologist by profession, but I'm also a well-known patient safety blogger, as well as a patient safety activist in Taiwan. Patient Safety Culture Club's function is to provide patient safety educational programs to the public and also to train uh, hospital inspectors uh, nearly where, where they're supposed to check uh, nearly 200 hospitals in Taiwan with their, their compliance with our eight national patient safety goals. We encourage our members to promote patient safety by the motto of Think Globally, Act Locally. So in order to increase the international visibility of our organization, I decided to attend the Patient Safety Movement Summit last year for the very first time. I'm very, I was very impressed and became fascinated by the movement and all of the great things Joe was doing to improve patient safety. I looked up to Joe as my hero. Where's my hero? <laughs> well, uh, really thanks to Joe, Joe's invitation. And I aspire to do something similar in Taiwan. So in March, I wrote to ask if I could become a regional net chair for Taiwan. Uh, luckily, I was approved very soon. In April, with the toolkit provided by the foundation, I introduced the movement's mission, which is getting to zero preventable death by 2020, to an audience attending a device safety conference. I found that many colleagues were very interested in joining the movement, resulting in my idea to stage a pep rally less than two months later. I staged this pep rally for national joint action on patient safety and mobilized 19 teaching hospitals to participate in the kickoff meeting for the movement. There were 19 senior leaders from these hospitals who were invited to go up to the podium and uh, they uh, make commitments and also uh, picking up the, those uh, uh, so the actionable patient, actionable patient safety solutions uh, with, within their institutions. We also invited politicians, dignitaries, medical personnel, patient safety advocates, clinical engineers, and representatives from tech companies to the rally. There were about 150 local attendees from 45 hospitals, not to mention the Massimo team. So this is a great example of unifying the healthcare ecosystem which reflects the mission proposed by the Patient Safety Movement Foundation. Of the 19 hospitals that have joined, we have collectively saved a total of 1,619 lives through our work. Thank you. Thank you. I am happy to announce the support of two committed partners spurred from this rally. Moreover, a Korean commitment announcer, who later became my personal friend, uh, Professor Lee, who shared his work at uh, last year's summit in Dana Point, was invited to share his summit experience. And a friend of mine from the Johns Hopkins Hospital's Clinical Engineering Services also publicly made a 
a commitment at the rally. Since Taiwan Patient Safety Culture Club marked its fifth anniversary in June, we held a celebration in conjunction with rally. So with all these highlights and affirmation, this historic event received extensive nationwide media coverage. All in all, our first rally was indeed an incredible success. In December, I hosted a follow-up workshop for these 19 hospitals just to make sure our project is moving forward toward the goal. And this year, we aim for at least a dozen more hospitals to join the movement. And I expect them to make their commitments before the second rally, which is going to be held on April 21st. We are very excited to have Ariana with us on this special occasion. Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to thank Sarah, Ariana, and Joe for their support. With the collaboration and momentum, I believe we should be able to get a step closer to the ultimate goal of zero preventable patient death in hospitals by the year 2020. I look forward to collaborating with Patient Safety Movement Foundation for future successes. Thank you.